creating a report using the Report Designer Wizard. In this video, we will show you how to create a new report using the built-in JAMS Report Designer Wizard. The Report Designer provides powerful tools that let you modify any existing report or create new ones using several different methods. With the JAMS Report Designer Wizard, we have the ability to build a new report from scratch by defining its individual components and then linking them to a JAMS data source. A quick way to create a report, and the one we will be demonstrating here, is to use the Report Designer Wizard. Starting with a blank report, the wizard steps you through the complete report creation process, from defining a data source, setting up tables and columns, to choosing the layout and style options. For this demonstration, we will create a simple spreadsheet style report. To get started, let's open the Report Designer by selecting the Report tool from the JAMS ribbon bar. When the Report Designer opens, choose the New Report icon. From the Select Report Data Source drop down, select the History option for this example and click the OK button to open a blank report. Stepping through the Report Designer Wizard. From this starting point, let's access the Report Designer Wizard. Once the Report Tasks dialog opens, select the Design in Report Wizard link. Next, we need to pick a report type. For this example, let's choose the Data Bound Report option. This will allow us to easily link our data sources in JAMS. On the following screen, we need to choose the data fields we want to include in our report. After a field is selected, Use the right arrow button to move that field into our display column on the right. To select and move multiple items at once, hold down the control key while clicking on multiple fields. Then use the right arrow button to move each selected field. In the next section, the report wizard gives us the option to group our selected fields. For this report, we do not wish to use grouping, so we will move on to the next section. Now, Let's choose the report's layout type and orientation. Since we are creating a spreadsheet style report, we will select the tabular option, set the report's orientation to landscape, and enable the Adjust Field Width checkbox to force our columns to fit horizontally across the page. If the columns cannot accommodate the data, JAMS offers manual adjustment of the size of the report and column widths, which we will demonstrate later in this video. The next screen provides several style options to control the appearance of our report. For the purposes of this example, let's give our report a formal look. On the following screen, enter the report's title and choose the Finish button to generate the report. Modifying a report using the Report Designer Once the report wizard has completed, the tools available in the Report Designer give us the ability to modify any component, including graphics, header styling, and column controls. Each panel on the designer screen includes a unique set of tools to fine-tune or completely revise your report. Let's start with the Toolbox panel, which contains an assortment of control objects ready to be inserted into the report, such as fields, labels, and picture boxes. The Report Explorer panel displays the report structure using a tree format. The Field List panel provides an ordered list of the report's field controls linked with the underlying JAMS data. Finally, the Property Grid includes extensive format and layout settings, which are used to modify any object placed in the report area. Now, let's see how the actual report looks by selecting the Print Preview tab. From this tab, the JAMS Report Designer allows us to use parameters to query a report with options to print, export, or attach that report to an email as a variety of popular format types. We now have the option to go back and adjust the columns and modify our layout preferences. For example, to extend the width of the report, let's return to the Report Designer by choosing the tab at the top of the screen. From the Report Explorer panel, right-click the top-level history element in the tree, choose the Properties command, and scroll down to the Page Settings section. From the Paper Kind drop-down list, we will select the Legal Size option to extend our report. Next, let's adjust the size of the columns to balance out the header and content width. 
Once the columns have been widened according to our preferences, we will save the report. Find out more about JAMS by watching our other training videos available at www.jamsscheduler.com.